Have you ever saved your loose change for like three months, then went to Coinstar to cash it in and got approximately $23 and wanted to celebrate? If you answered yes, you should be with me right now at Sizzler in Van Nuys, California. I wouldn't recommend Sizzler after a Grammy win, but if you get third place in your bowling league, you and your team should celebrate here. They claim on their awning they're known for great steaks, seafood, and salads, but I'll be the judge of that. My name is Wax, I eat at regular places, and this is Chain Reaction. Element. For those of you that are not familiar with Sizzler, the way it works is the following. You go to the register first, and you order what main meal you want, and then when you sit down, they bring you the main meal later. You start with garlic cheese toast. It seems like it's pretty much gonna be exactly what you would expect. I'm not a complicated man. If you put butter and garlic salt on a piece of white toast, I'd probably marry you if you're female. I like the way they do their silverware here so I can go like this. It makes me feel like David Blaine, or David Copperfield, or David Hasselhoff if he did magic. You gotta start with the hot foods first. I don't want my soup to get cold. Is it free range? No. <laughs> have you ever seen those documentaries in Tokyo where like they have to have the guys come out and push people into the subway? and they barely fit in there. That's how these chickens lived. Oh my God, already? Oh. This food came out so fast that I'm overwhelmed. I took like one bite of soup and one bite of salad bar bacon. I haven't even eaten a piece of spinach yet. And we're, we're just uh, exacerbated, if that's even the right word. I guess leaving the tail on there after you pop it out just proves that it actually came from a lobster rather than they just put it in some kind of like uh, like mold and put like fake lobster meat in there. All that said, this kind of feels like it's made out of wicker. I think they wove this in a basket weaving class in some community college. It's 3D printed. <laughs> this is the first 3D printed lobster. I'm just not into that flavor, man. Lobster is one of those foods that people just like because it's expensive and they think they're supposed to like it. It's like caviar and escargot, even more notably Cristal and Moet. Have you ever had Cristal? I had a sip of it one time, I thought it sucked. But people think it has to be good because it's like a million dollars a glass or whatever. You know what? I'd rather have a Budweiser. Because of the all-you-can-eat nature of Sizzler, most people that eat here are kind of overweight. That's why they put a popsicle stick on the steak. And they do serve alcoholic beverages here at Sizzler, so some people just actually get it as a little garnish. When you order a martini here, you don't order it dirty, you order it medium rare. I'm gonna give this steak a try. I can tell you, first of all, that cutting through it is like cutting through a cherry tree. As happens often on this show, come across something with a good taste, bad texture. Have you ever had a delicious steak and thought, I love the flavor, I just wish the texture was more like a, like a, like a twine fishing net. I don't think I'm gonna swallow it. <laughs> I just hid that piece of steak like a little girl hides gum in class. Part of this was my bad. If you get a steak here, get like medium or medium well so they cook it all the way through. This is the chewiest steak I've ever had. I gotta give that steak like a D, man. D on the steak. Chain restaurants have been using potatoes since fuck, since way before I can remember, or even history was recorded. I can't even count how many things they've done. At least six. This is a baked potato with sour cream, butter, and chives. That's what I'm talking about. It's not rocket science. If you like sour cream and onion chips, you're gonna fucking love this. I don't know if it's called a green onion or a spring onion or a chive, but that's the best thing about it. To me, it's like the point guard on a basketball team. That chive is like Allen Iverson, and this baked potato is like the Philadelphia 76ers in the late 90s and early 2000s. Sizzler really likes making meat products look like dessert. They had a popsicle stick in the steak, and this looks like a lollipop. What I like about fried shrimp here at Sizzler is it's really crunchy. It's a really, really good consistency. Let's do another meat product. This is the Malibu chicken. I don't see what it has to do with Malibu. This is a breaded chicken with ham and then some kind of cheese on top of it. Served with like a hollandaise sauce. If you had a McDonald's chicken nugget, then put a circular meat from a Lunchable, then a circular cracker, then a circular cheese, and then that little mustard pack, then ate it, <clears throat> it tastes the same. This tastes so much like a Lunchable, I wish I could trade it with another kid for his peanut butter and jelly. 
Now, most people have heard of rice pilaf, but I have no idea what makes rice into rice pilaf. You know what I mean? This is nice. I think they named it rice pilaf because the flavors are so sensual, it makes women peel off their panties. Moving on backwards, this is what Sizzler calls the California kale salad. True story, in my neighborhood growing up, there was a younger kid who like wanted to be a stoner. He was like already a burnout before he even started smoking weed, but he used to come to the bus stop with like little bags of shit that looked like this and tasted like this and be like, hey, I got some weed. And he just found some shit in his backyard. That's what this tastes like. This tastes like some shit in a bag from that kid named Billy that used to come on my bus stop with shit that wasn't weed. This is a meatball. Out of all foods in the world, the meatball has my favorite name. It's just a fucking ball of meat. It doesn't even specify what kind of meat. If this was a panda bear testicle, it would be accurately named as a meatball. If this was a thousand penguin earlobes all smushed together. <laughs> this is somehow the steak I spit out earlier. It's still accurately named as a meatball. It's dolphin fin, I should have knew it. <laughs> this is much more specific than a meatball. It was labeled orange chicken. <laughs> There's no chicken in that. That is fried bread. That orange chicken was a vegan product. Is that another random yeah. meat? I don't know if there's a wing, I, I don't know if there's a bone in it or not. This fried chicken wing actually looks like it could be a jalapeno popper. It could be a potato wedge even. Doesn't it look like a potato wedge? Yeah. Just nah. You all right? Everything's great, man. We're having a great time. Right after nah. What I like the most about Sizzler is the dessert. It takes me back to being a kid again. I used to love ice cream. I used to love all this shit. I got fake strawberries, crushed up cookies, butterscotch, peanuts, and chocolate syrup all on top of vanilla ice cream. There's no need to review this. You know just as well as I do that this is fucking fantastic. In conclusion, I feel extremely full as usual. I wouldn't come to this place if I got a promotion at work, but I might come here if I got fired from my job. I give Sizzler a six out of 10. Not really happy with it. I'm gonna go home and just be happy that I don't have a job. You know when you see somebody coming and you don't want to see them and you're like, great, Steve's here. That's the context of the word great they meant when they said great steaks. Uh, oh, right, right, right. You you, you, oh, yeah, we're done, we're done. You know, it's about his, uh, his life. It's not and about Sizzler, it was about me. Okay, we'll delete it. We won't, we won't use it. If you're doing this for somebody else, you might get in big Right, problem. right. for three.